Hi, I'm Katherine Stelges, owner of the Think Live B team at Keller Williams Realty at the Parks in downtown Orlando. And I'm here with your monthly real estate market update. So if you watch our videos and follow us, you know that every month on the 15th, Orlando Regional Realtor Associations puts out the stats for the previous month. So we're always looking a little bit in the past when we're analyzing the data of what's going on in the market. But you're finally starting to see with July's numbers, the cooling effect that the interest rate rises have had. So as the interest rates have gone up, that makes things less affordable for all of the buyers out there. And so you're finally starting to see that there's more listings available at the end of the month. There was over 6,000 listings for sale. And that left us with just under two months of inventory. Um, we haven't seen two months of inventory in about two years. But keep in mind, that's not a lot. Uh, a normal, like balanced real estate market would be four to six months of homes available for sale. So compared to demand, it's still, it's not some hot buyer's market either. Um, we're probably starting to see though, again, we're looking back in time. So we're probably starting to see the effects of these, these rising rates and the affordability out there. And so prices are starting to come down to just balance things out a little bit. So we'll probably continue to see that, especially as we head into August, September, October, where we always see a seasonal down cycle anyways. So people move because of their kids in school and when, when people have children in school. So in August, a lot of people have already made their moves. So you'll start to see these numbers show up for August, September, October, where there's less homes that have sold. The prices might even go down a little bit um, again in the following months because of the normal seasonal cycle. So we won't really know what the overall general market is doing for a couple more months, but we're starting to see those signs of a shifting market where there's less homes that have sold, there's less pending sales, which means there's less homes in the future that will sell. And then the price went down slightly month over month, but you have to remember it's up 19% since last year. So the prices are still drastically higher than they were last year. And we expect that the cooling effect will continue to bring some of the prices down in um, areas where there's not as much demand Real estate is so hyper local and it really depends on where you are in the city and what your experience will be when you go to list your property. You could find that there's still multiple offers in some pockets um, and some price ranges and you might find that you're sitting on the market for three to four months with a few showings because there's just not as much demand for your type of home, your area. So it's really important as it always has been that you work with a real estate professional that knows what they're doing and is very familiar with the market when you, so that you can make the right decisions for your, your purchase or sales plans. So call us today for all of your real estate needs. Um, you know, don't get in the habit of saying, well, my friend is a real estate agent because it's it may have seemed like anyone could just put a sign in the yard and their house would sell over the last couple of years. Well, that's not gonna be the case anymore because it's going to take some strategic pricing, some marketing to actually get your home sold when there's more listings available, more competition for your house. So give us a call and we'll walk you through and navigate you through the changing market. And we look forward to serving you soon.